Hi, my name is Maria. I'm Alex. And welcome back to Bulldog Bias. And that's Bobby. It's Bobby down there. I've been dog in training. Mm -hmm. he's, he's still not turning into a bulldog. Bro. What's going on? Let's go. Let's go. You're part of the shred. Anyway. We're here to talk about yes. the greatest play we've ever produced. Yes, and I was on Google just a second ago and they're celebrating fairy bread today, so... Fairy bread, oh beautiful, yeah. I guess it's the day for it. Go back to our childhoods. Mm. <laughs> My lack of childhood. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we're doing the, the best player ever produced. Yes. Play with the clean, so therefore this will be the best video ever produced. Well, I guess by default, yeah, yeah, yeah. it is. Mm. Yes, well. So to give you the backstory, so I'll give, we shall give the viewers the backstory. Tell, tell, them, tell them the story. So we're at the football this day, and I can't even remember who we were playing. I but feel like it was Adelaide for some reason. Could have been Adelaide, yeah. Anyhow, and uh, McLean marks the ball, and oh, this cool. guy behind me goes, oh, he's the best player ever produced. I mean, personally, I thought it was the Bond, but, you yeah, know. Oh. And I've turned around, and I've gone, he's not the best player ever produced. Even Doug Hawkins. <laughs> uh, sorry? <laughs> The Doug Hawkins <laughs> We'll tell that story later. <laughs> Anyhow, this guy goes, Yes, he's just the best player ever produced. So, Marco has a shot and he misses. Yeah, like and the so guy many. says, See, your negativity caused him to miss. There's like so many other players. So, uh, yeah, so we've got, um, we, 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 we've nicknamed him the best player ever produced. Yeah. So, that, that's how that came yeah. about. And then the funny story about the first time I took the kids, I don't know, Maria must have been about I forgot. nine, nine not, or ten. I don't know. And, uh, and I was showing around the Western Oval and I said, Maria, that's the Dougie Hawkins wig. And I says, how do you know? And she goes, yeah, I know it is, Dad. I said, how do you know? She goes, well, there's a sign over there that says Dougie Hawkins wig. <laughs> yeah, that was fairly simple. Um, well, let's get the Macca stats. Okay, so. Yes. So, again, let's see him. Oh, okay. Let's see him. Yeah. Clean is a pretty small forward. He's like 10 centimetres taller than I am. <laughs> Uh, with ex exceptional leap and marking ability for his size, crafty for a goal, agile. Okay, 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 Bobby. I'm sorry. You see, <laughs> uh. Crafty, your goal, agile, and prolific ball winner. McLean averaged 20 disposals from 20 games and kicked 32 goals in an outstanding first year in the TIC Cup. Uh, <laughs> The 18-year-old was runner-up in the TAC Cups League Best and Fairest Award and was named Best on Ground in the Oakley Chargers Grand Final win. McLean, which lost to McCray, played for them too. Did you saw that? Yeah. As we saw that video from. <laughs> uh, McLean played a career-high 15 games in 2016 and was part of the club's AFL Premiership win. Uh, just his second season of senior football, he was an important player and the season best player produced, obviously. <laughs> Yes. In 2020. It's the worst news ever produced. Every, that's, that's, that's just unlucky. <laughs> Averaging 14 disposals of four tackles from 12 games before suffering ACL in round 17. I oh, know, was a shame that that was. Uh, he's played some good football. Actually, there is a trivia question. Who kicked the last point for the Bulldogs was in 2000? That was McLean, yes. Because you keep on telling me this. Yes, he did. He had his chance for glory and he missed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so obviously, he's only honours as being the Premiership player in 2016. Well, that's pretty good, I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I want more for him. You know, I, I could spend the next half hour naming Bulldog players that should have won Premierships, didn't okay, win okay, Premierships. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Yeah. So, if you don't care, well, like, he was born on the 31st of, of January, which makes him an Aquarius like me. Mm. <laughs> that is poor mother. Yeah. <laughs> well, Aquarius is so great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's get to his statistics. From this year, he came matches played. Do you want to How many? <laughs> three, it says. Three? Because he did his knee again, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, poor baby. My worst nightmare. Yeah. Go on. Uh, so disposals 14, kicks uh, 5.7. Handball 8.3, marks 3, uh, tackles 4.3, and goals 0.7. Oh, well, uh, well, that's what they expect. I mean, he didn't <laughs> exactly play a full season, so it's, it's, it's pretty hard to judge that on there. All I say is he can't be very heavy. 
because I remember watching an interview with Tom Boyd, and after Tom Boyd kicked that goal, you know, the, the great tackle from Dale Morris and mm. on Franklin, and he said, hey, how did you feel having uh, McLean on your back? And uh, uh, Tom Boyd said, I didn't even know I was there. <laughs> Okay. Wait, wait, wait. So, like, can we get? Because I know for like PNC, you had to put in your height and weight. Did they have it here or not? Well, probably. Let's see. Uh, Seventy nine kilos. Seventy nine kilos. Okay. And it's like one hundred and eighty mm. centimeters tall. Okay. Uh, look. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I can't see that the <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna do this video with a clean flex on <laughs> yeah. No, nah, I just put it in the thing, yeah. Put it in. Yeah, it is. I'll put it on. As long as it goes for it. I don't know. Bur I'm sorry, McLean back then and McLean now. Two different people. <laughs> All in all, I was happy with my first year to play four AFL games. His face is so terrible. It is, he was young then. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> um, I was quite happy with uh, how it went. I was more happy than sad because I, I had my four games not knowing that I would play, play them one, so I, I looked at it as a positive more than a negative. Wing or forward, it's a bit easy to get the ball up on the wing, not really one on one. And you've got to work a bit harder as a forward, but you do enjoy kicking a goal and I am playing forward. The week before we played Frankston in the VFL, played okay, and on the following Thursday, Bevo came to me and dra dragged me into his office and told me that I was I was playing. Um, called called mum straight away, um, yeah, she was over the moon. Sort of a, a relief because you, you have your whole pre-season not sure if you'll play a game in your first year um, and to do that it was even if it was being the sub you, you're really happy about it one socks. <laughs> oh my god oh now we have medical subs we do we do have medical subs there <laughs> okay yes. so what's your favorite mclean moment uh, uh, okay. that that grand final moment always sticks in my mind. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be honest, when he, when he marked the ball just before the siren, when it was like a, a sigh of relief, I knew that there's no way that the city... Yeah, I remember in. March of 2016 because I was playing squash, squash yeah. in Sydney as well playing Sydney. Yeah. There was... Um, in, in the book here, there's, um, there's one of McLean. I, I want to show people this photo. Uh, yeah. Was in the grand, this was in the actual grand final. Um, oh yes, this one here. See him taking the mark there. The action shots are yeah. not flattened. They can't see. They can't see. Okay, have a look at that. Now look at the beautiful action shot, except he drops that mark. Oh, <laughs> he actually drops Stop that it. mark. Stop it. <laughs> but it was a nice shot, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Mm. So, all in all, I mean, look, for me, Toby McGreen, yeah. Toby McGreen? Toby McLean is an A great, look, A great footballer. <laughs> and he, he, he's better in the team than out of it. I mean, that's no doubt. He, he had some versatility, he got a bit of pace, knows how to snag a goal, except in grand finals, yeah, of course. Um, he knows how to do ACLs. Yeah, he, probably, <laughs> he knows how to do ACLs. Look, would he have made any difference in the grand final this year? I don't think he would. Yeah, he's a great think... player for producer, of course he would. <laughs> I, I still maintain it's probably Bont and Pelly, but yeah, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll run with that. Um, but the thing is, you know, he, he he's a very gifted player and you know, he was missed through the season. I, I really do believe that. And uh, he's another one who's going to be like in the Wallace camp. I mean, who are you going to drop to put him in? Fenske's out, so is Young. You know, you know I mean, it's... Yeah. Uh, they got rid of Cavara and they got rid of Hayes. They got rid of him? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, Hayes didn't do much. He was there for about four years, I think. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, at the end of the day, you know, um, yeah, I, I look forward to his comeback, but like I said, who are you going to drop to put him in the team? It's a good problem to have. Well, I mean, Wood has retired, but it's not a bad <laughs> No, Tobes not a backer, that's for sure. <laughs>
you know, sort of, uh, now with Woody gone, you might get Gardner, Cordy and, uh, and Keith in the same back line. Nice. Uh, you know, but no, get, get back to it. I, I really yeah. enjoy watching him play. He does some really smart yeah. things. But can you do it after this? The fact, well, you said Toby McGreen. No, Toby McLean. You said Toby McLean. All right, come on. I've got to go shopping yeah, in a minute. So let's get on with this. Let's <laughs> get on to highlights, 2020 highlights. 2020 highlights? We've got a few of those, has he? Yeah. It's 2020. These are the COVID highlights. Just packs it forward in hope. Here comes Bruce. Pushed underneath the footy, Mitch Wallace. Tries to get it to Lloyd, works out now, McLean, hooking ball, is good! Great finish, and the Dogs get their third. Homer and Marge on, on the bicep for Tom Liberatore. Is this the one we went to? McRae to Wallace, pushes off his man, and he'll get a free kick, Mitch Wallace. Is the advantage paid? I reckon it is. Melbourne have got the answers. Hibbert talking about hacking, kicks it straight to Bogdan Pelly. Inside 50, a third one in a row. It's a hat trick of Shanks. Opens up for the Dogs. McLean should kick a goal. It wasn't pretty, but it was effective. The Dogs are. Won't see much of them today, but they're going to enjoy the footy. One team's playing for its season, the other one's playing for its pride in a way. So Bonta Pelly to McRae. Rick and Hayne, we're going to call those two names a fair bit today. And if we do, they're going to have a good afternoon. So Burgoyne's got the job on Wallace early. Goes back inside. McLean rolls it through. So to set their good starters. That it's as quick as out of bounds. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice start. Look, he's a bit like I said, he's, he's a wonderful player to watch. He, he does some magical things. He's got the dribble kick, you know. The Chief might have something to say about that when he's back, you know. Uh, doesn't like the dribble kick, the Chief, does he? If it's done badly, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, but now, look. If you do it at the wrong time, remember that time I forget. Do you want to do a video on the Chief next week? <laughs> Sorry? Do you want to do a video on the Chief next week? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at the video. I the Chief, yeah. <laughs> I remember I was watching some of like some of his like biggest like outbursts, and there was like this person a dribble kick when there was like 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 so many defenders in front of him, mm -hmm. and of course because the dribble kick is so slow, like they stopped him and got him. Yeah, amazing, that <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so. That's, yeah, that, that, that's what I'm going to say about McLean. I mean, I really enjoy watching him play football. Good. I yeah. do have some questions. Oh, fire away. Okay, so, like, obviously, yeah, okay, so he's running it back again, like I've mentioned five million times. Uh, so his best quality in the team, like, what does he bring to the team? He's a really good link player. He's a good finisher, you know? I mean, uh, yeah, with the... <laughs> I thought she was on my hand. Um, so my cat just went into a box. <laughs> yeah, look, if you put the ball in his head, usually that's going to go to one of our players or he'll finish off with a nice goal, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Nice. And what do you think the future has for him? Well, I think that... I think the, yeah, well, as long as he stays injury-free. <laughs> look, I, I think he, he's, he's got an opportunity to be one of the, you know, one of the great players of the Western Bulldogs. Um, yeah, I think injuries have sort of stifled that a bit in the last couple of years. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he certainly got the skills in there to do that, yeah. Yeah, and uh, has his, uh, 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 I can't speak, has his role changed over the years? Uh, well, it's yeah. pretty much the same, either on a wing or as, as a forward, small forward on the ball. Yeah, no, not really. Um, yeah, do you think his best is yet to come? I think so. Yeah. I think so, yeah. Okay. I think we're just seeing, you know, the early part of, of him, and you know, the, the injuries don't help. I mean, you know, you know yourself, you're going to come back from an ACL. The first five or six games, you're not at your best, are you? And it's scary. Yeah. And so, the, so the poor kid, you know, he, was, he hasn't had really the opportunity to... to um... I can't tell you enough. Uh, your knee repairs more faster than your confidence. Because I remember when I first started to get back to training, I took these nervous little steps. And now I'm actually lunging for the ball. I wondered why she couldn't get to the bloody ball. Yeah. No, but it's scary. It it's is. like, I don't want to do it again. No, that's fair enough. It's always yeah. in the back. Of it. I don't think that... Do you ever think about you doing your Achilles again? I did when I first got back, but then... When is it? 
the feeling go away. Oh. I think it goes away differently for everyone, you know what I mean? I think everyone, yeah, everyone's got their own way. It's always two years and I still think about it sometimes because my knee still gets sore. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, I see like injuries like that, it's always scary. Coming it back. is, it's never fun. Um, it's, it's like my knee still gets sore, so it's not just one knee, it's both knees. Yeah, fair I feel enough. like I'm just had to wear both of them right now. <laughs> it's always scary. <laughs> Yeah, no, for sure. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys. So, look, like, I can only imagine how Toby McLean's feeling right now. Exactly. exactly. Now, before we sign off, um, <laughs> I want you to support the industry that supports bands. We're, we're playing, all of you watching, we're playing live, my band at the... Uh, What's the name of your band? band? It's Five Shades of Grey. Uh, not 50? Not 50, no. It's only five of us with grey hair. Uh, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's the Boogeyman Bar in, in Collingwood, Hoddle Street there. Friday the 3rd of December, 8 o'clock start. Mate, come get some great music, you know. Um, uh, I, I, I'm hoping that you guys will uh, remember some of the tunes that we've played. And I hope we do too on the night. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, well, thank you for this. And we'll be, uh, we're going to do a special on The Chief next week. Yeah, why not? We yeah. need to. Yeah. Of course, I just, we'll be shit canning the chief. Just, obviously, we have to. I just, I'm just gonna compile like a whole beer list of his biggest outbursts. Oh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I find it funny when he gets his outbursts. He does. Yes. It yes. Makes yes. Me laugh. And, I, and I'll so, give you a clue when you guys cook about the dribble kick. It's because he could never do a dribble kick. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be yeah, next week. It's gonna be full of laughs. Uh, so yeah. Just, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy the show, and we'll see you next time. Yeah. Bye. Bye.